Hello, I'm High Heel Knight. Welcome to my channel. This is my sportscasters get way too personal reaction. Let's go to the video tape. Three, two, one. Oh, and the ref has given a five minute manger to Anderson for throwing his stick into someone's face like a Stupid javelin. Mistakes. That's right, John. That'll stall up this game a little bit as the referee cleans up all the blood and picks up all the teeth off the ice. There's Anderson settling into the penalty box, not looking happy with the call. Not too happy with his season, you can imagine, if you take a look at his number of goals compared to previous seasons. And it's hard not to notice, Larry, that that's a downward trend from his time in the Junior League with the Laval Rockets. Looks like the ref's trying to figure out the best strategy to clean up after that <laughs> nasty play by Anderson. Anderson, of course, originally from Hamilton, Ontario, where he attended Westview Elementary and was by all accounts a gifted athlete and a lovely young man. What? A lovely <laughs> young man, according to his sixth grade teacher, Mrs. Winslow. Taking a look at his sixth grade report card here, obviously great in gym class, not so much in history and geography. Not very good with maps at all, John. How is this information relevant? Taking a look at some other stats now as we near the end of the second, Anderson has blamed a total of 362 times. That's a fairly normal amount of blinking at this point in the game. What? Oh, looking like the referee's <laughs> trying to figure out how to use the nozzle on his cleaning product and get this blood all cleared up there. That should take a couple of minutes. That'll give us time to dig a little deeper into our stats here with our penalty box vital scan brought to you by Soda Cola. So, what does that mean? <laughs> oh, oh! Now what's interesting about Anderson is that he's got a bone density like no other. Look at those numbers. Great bone density, John, but you gotta worry about that foot fungus the scan picked up. Now that could be athlete's foot or something much worse. I have a foot fungus? Would you look at that resting heart rate Though Talk about a player with great cardiovascular strength, Larry. Great cardio, John. Although, checking our soda cola DNA analysis... <laughs> DNA analysis? It should be noted, Larry, that going back into Anderson's ancestral family tree, there have been some heart issues. That's right, John. Notably in the 1600s with Anderson's great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-grandfather <laughs> Ebenezer Anderson having died of a sword to the heart. Why would this be relevant data? That's right, Larry. Also important to keep in mind that Ebenezer's wife, Abigail, Gail was found guilty at the Salem witch trials and burned alive at the stake. Let's see if Anderson can put that family witchcraft to good use in the third period. Okay, you have way too much information on us. <laughs> Going back to the ref here, it looks like he's got a splinter or something, Ooh. which is weird because there doesn't seem to be any wood around him. As the referee works on getting that out, that'll give us a chance to check our live stream at Anderson's Ooh. house. Now, don't show people my house. No, I've always said, John, the best way to get to know a player is to see how they live. Now, you take a look at the size of that garbage can in front of his house. This is at 72 81 Maple Street, of course. You just doxed me. Those kinds of garbage containers put some real strain on the wrists when they're full. Right, which could realistically have an impact on Anderson's stick handling tonight. Come on. Looks like nobody's <laughs> home at the moment. And taking a look at our soda cola <laughs> forensic <laughs> scan of the security <laughs> pad there, you can see the most worn out numbers certainly make it seem like the passcode's a combination of the numbers 1, 9, 0, and 3. Okay, I'm 100% getting robbed. Good amount of distance between those numbers on the keypad. That could put some strain on the thumb with repeated movement. Can the game restart? I don't like these sportscasters at all. Checking in with the ref again. Looks like he's having a little power nap mm -mm. now, little sleepy boy. Oh my god. And that should give us just enough time to connect with Anderson's long lost father, Michael, who we tracked down and have on the line. What? Hello, son. Dad? It's me. Your dad. How did how did they find you? I just want to say I'm so dang proud of you, and I'm sorry I left. I shouldn't have left. It's okay. Stupid it's okay. I love you, Dad. I love you too, son, and I want to be a part of I your life if you let me. Dad. I would love that, Dad. I would love that. I take it back. These sportscasters are incredible. A touching moment for Anderson in the penalty box there, John. That's right, Larry. And looks like the ref is about ready to go, which should just give us enough time to check out Anderson's browser history. Oh. Wait, no no, 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 no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, goodness. I'm not into sports, but that was very funny. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I might I might need a biometric skin. <laughs> All right, so that was my reaction. Let me know what you think. Like button, subscribe, comment, share. You know what to do. I'm High Heel Knight. Thank you very much for watching. And remember, find inspiration everywhere.